Hi, this is Steven with Musicians Mobile. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about bar chords. Uh, so we're going to learn what a bar is, and we're going to learn what a bar chord is. And so essentially we're going to be learning how to take our open chord shapes that we learn as beginners, and we're going to learn how to move those up the guitar to create different sounds in our playing. Uh, just as a quick example of that, I'm going to take a C chord and I'm going to play it in a variety of different ways up the neck that kind of changes the way it sounds a little bit. I'm going to start with the open C chord that we all learn as beginners. I'm going to kind of show you that's not the only way to play a C chord as I move up the guitar neck with some different chord shapes. Here we go. Alright, so now that we've seen how you can take a chord and play it in a variety of ways up the neck, our next step in understanding what a bar chord is, is to simply know what a bar is. So a bar is a guitar technique when we take one of our fingers and we lay it across multiple strings. So on the same fret, sorry. So you're taking one finger, multiple strings on the same fret. So here I'm on the fifth fret and I'm taking my first finger here and I'm laying it starting on the third string Right, and then I'm flattening my finger out so that way it covers all three of those strings and it's pushing them all down on the fifth fret. Right, so that's what a, what a bar is. Okay, so what our bar chords are going to be is going to be a combination of a bar plus a chord shape. So these bars can be played across any number of strings, except for one, because that would just be one note. But if you're playing two, three, four, five, six, um, strings on the same fret, that's what a bar is. Alright, so now that we know what a bar is, now we're going to learn how to take our open chord shapes and change them into a bar chord. So I'm first going to demonstrate with an A minor chord. So this is kind of your standard open A minor chord here. I've got my first finger on the first fret of the second string, I've got my third finger on the second fret of the third string, and I have my second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to figure out which of these uh, open strings we're playing. So typically with the A minor chord, we strum from the fifth string down. So here we have the root note of the chord A on the bottom. Bottom mean, meaning the lowest sounding note. And then I also have the open first string involved in this uh, chord. Okay, so what I need to do to turn this into a bar chord is I now I need my first finger free. So right now my fourth finger is here free. I need to um, put the fourth finger in the chord shape and then take out the first finger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go second finger on the first fret of the second string, fourth finger on the second fret of the third string, third finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Okay, so now my I have the same exact chord shape but with um, the fourth finger in the chord and now the first finger is free. Alright, so now we have our A minor chord shape reconfigured so our first finger is free and ready to play a bar. So the next thing we want to look at is what happens if I move my chord shape but I don't move up the open strings the same distance. Mm. So right now if I take this chord shape and I move up one half step and I strum the same string from the fifth down, now it sounds totally different. But I still want this to sound like a minor chord. You know, I want to keep the same quality of chord. So what happened was I raised the pitches of the three notes being pushed down by my fingers and the open strings stayed where they were. They did not move up one half step as well. So that's what my bar is going to do. It's going to raise those pitches up one half step here to cover the same distance that my chord shape moved up and I'm going to drape my first finger down from the fifth string down since I'm strumming from the fifth on this one and then I'm going to use the chord shape so again, bar chord is a bar plus a chord shape. Now I have a minor chord. Okay? So the other thing we want to know now is what is the name of this chord? As we change the pitches, it's going to have a different letter name. It's still going to be a minor chord, 
but we're going to have a different root note of the chord. So when we're playing our A minor chord, our root note is on the fifth string. So that's our lowest root note there. Fifth string, open A. So that means that whatever note our first finger is on the uh, fifth string when we're playing our bar chord, that's going to be the new chord name. So let's say I take my chord shape here and I move up five frets. I go one, two, three, four, five. Now my second finger is on the sixth fret. My first finger is going to raise the pitch of the open strings up five half steps as well. So that one's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and that's going to land on the fifth. Um, sorry, the fifth fret of the fifth string. So fifth fret, fifth string, that is a D note. So now when I play this chord, it's going to be a D minor chord. Okay, let's say I go up two frets from there. So now I'm going to take this whole shape and I'm going to go up one, two, moving at the same distance. Now my first finger is on the fifth fret, sorry, seventh fret of the fifth string. This is going to make an E minor chord. Okay, let's say I go back to the third fret. So let's go back, actually let's start back here. So now I'm going to raise up to the first fret, drop my first finger, I'm going to go two more frets. Now I'm on C on the fifth uh, string. So third fret, fifth string, C minor. Okay, so as you can see, I can make any minor chord I want using the same shape. And we are using one of our open chord shapes. So we're taking the A minor chord shape and we're making a bar out of it and we're using that bar to play any minor chord we want. All right, so now that we know the process for making a bar chord, I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing with a couple other chords. And then I encourage you to go ahead and try it out with um, some other chord shapes, you know? So the first one we're gonna look at is very, very similar to A minor. It is E major. So essentially, you know, if we just take our A minor chord and we move all the fingers up one string, that this is going to be an E major chord. In this chord, I have the sixth string, the second string, and the first string open while I'm pushing down, um, you know, fretting the fifth, fourth, and third strings. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to reconfigure so my first finger is free. And then whatever distance this chord shape moves up, my first finger is going to cover that same distance and this time it's going to bar from the 6th string down because that's where my uh, strum starts on the E chord from the 6th string E, right? So that E note, now I move my chord shape, now my first finger is covering the 6th string. So wherever this first finger is, that's the name of the chord, it's on the 6th string. Right? So right now I moved up from E to F this is an F chord. Okay, say I I go back, you know, I'm, I do the same thing we did before, and I go up five frets. One, two, three, four, five. Second finger's on the sixth string, I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> second finger's on the sixth fret, right? My first finger is gonna go up the same distance from the open, so it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna end up on the fifth, um, fifth fret. Of the sixth string is A, so this is an A major chord. Right, you go up two more frets from there. One, two. Now my first finger is on the seventh fret of the sixth string. That is a B, so this is a B major chord. And you can play that from any fret to make any major chord you want using the same chord shape, just like we did with the A minor chord. But now we're getting a major chord. Okay, so. The last one I'm going to show you here is a little bit more advanced. This is a C major chord shape. Okay, so my fourth finger is free. I'm going to reconfigure. So my first finger is free. I, whatever distance my chord shape moves, my first finger is going to come along for the ride. On this chord shape, um, the only open strings I need to worry about are the G uh, third string and the first string E. So when I move and I make my bar, so I moved up one fret here, my bar is going to come up to the first fret. I only really need a bar from the third fret down on this one. Right, because I'm not, I'm not uh, playing the 
the sixth string. That one's being avoided here. So strumming from the fifth string down, so I don't need to. I, my bar doesn't need to be quite so high. It's not that it can't be. It's just that it doesn't need to be. Okay. So um, one thing with this chord here now, we need to go back and we need to figure out where's the uh, root note of the chord. So when we're playing our regular C chord here, our third finger is on C. That is the root note. When we reconfigure our fig fingers to leave our first finger free for the bar, now our fourth finger is there. So now wherever this fourth finger ends up, this is going to be the name of the chord. So let's say I go up um, four frets here. So if I go one, two, three, four, my fourth finger is on the seventh fret of the fifth string. That is an E note. Okay, so now I move my bar up from the open string, or it was open, now it's going to make a bar up the same dis distance, which was four frets. One, two, three, four. My bar goes down on the fourth fret, first finger on the third string down. Now, that E note right there on the seventh fret, now this is an E major chord using the C major shape. Okay, so with this one, wherever you move it, the fourth finger is going to dictate the name of the chord. So that is how you take your open chords and change them into bar chords. So just as a review real quick, what we do when we want to make a bar chord out of one of our open chords, the first thing we do is we reconfigure our fingers so that way our first finger is free, ready to make a bar. Then we want to make sure we know which strings are open in our open chords so that we, we know what to cover with our bar. And then whatever distance we move our chord shape, our first finger follows the same distance, raising, effectively raising the pitches of the open strings the same distance that we raised our chord shape. So that way we keep the same quality of chord. And that works for pretty much any of your open chords as long as you only have three fingers involved. Um, so I really encourage you to tr to test that out. Try it with your other chord shapes. Um, like I said, any any chord shape, C, A, G, E, D, A minor, E minor, D minor, try it out. See if you can figure that out using that same process.